You know, talking about Monkey for two days straight wasn't so bad. Kind of makes me wish I had more Monkey to talk about. <laughs> nice and easy now. Ah, my very first flocked Funko. Let's take a closer look now, shall we? Yeah, I really don't much care if my exclusives have been out of the box and most of them are going to stay out of the box, but since this is of a flocked material, I don't know if I want to keep this thing out of the box or not. So the reason why the box is going to stay intact, sorry, no major destruction this time, is because I would like to keep this thing nice and fresh. Oh yeah, and before I forget, this is the Books A Million exclusive Kong with Battle Axe flocked version, although you probably already knew that, and there will be really no new or different indicators on the box other than the two stickers. That being said, flocked Battle Axe Kong is pretty much the exact same thing as standard Battle Axe Kong. It's just going to lack on the major color differences when it comes to the fur. And as you can see right here, the beard is not of a different color. In fact, I'd even say the detail took a bit of a nosedive. See what I'm saying? Look at the wrinkles and all of the crevasses here on Kong's face. Now look at the standardized vinyl version. It just looks a lot better on the standard one. And plus, I really don't know how I feel about how this looks. I mean, at this point, you probably shouldn't have even molded the scars. You probably should have just left them or something, because this just looks a little on the, I don't know, cheapy arts and crafts looking type thing, because that doesn't match up with the scars at all. That doesn't really look all that great. I mean, the rest of the skin and everything looks pretty dang cool, but this just looks kind of bad. But then you have something like Kong's ears sticking out of the flocked material and it just looks great. It looks great on both sides, honestly. And the way that Kong's ears are cut really makes it look like they're sticking out of honest fur. And I will give Funko this. The fact that so much of the Kong fur has been translated into this flocked material and is actually visible is really, really cool. So I really have to give them that. And even though the chest area doesn't look all that great, the flocked material surrounding that of the fist and the feet and even the face looks really really cool and just overall not too much has changed and everything looks perfectly fine. Although I will say there are definitely some differences when it comes to Kong's battle axe. It doesn't have that weird finish color on it and it looks more like skin now than it did beforehand. Let me just put these down. The battle axe still be looking like a pop tart but I do prefer the thinner lines over the thicker lines. This just looks a lot better. I don't know even from far away I just like the way this looks more. It looks more concentrated and less... But yeah, I really do want to draw attention to this because, again, this is looking more like skin than it is anything else. I'll bring back the tinfoil hatism, but it's looking pretty similar to me. But that's just me. I'm not saying that's what the fact is, but the detail and everything on this really does come off like crocodilian skin, much like Godzilla's got on his back. Could be based on former concept art. Could be a thing all its own. I don't know. But the bone being of a darker color, the lines being thinner, and the skin being less fogged up by that weird dry brushing effect that they did on the original is fairly interesting. I wonder what made them choose a different color this go around. I wonder if it was intentional at all even. I don't know, but seeing these two side by side is honestly really, really cool. And Kong's got quite the amount of details on his back as well. This is looking like some, uh, yeah, just some random fuzzies and not gonna lie though. Hey yo, Kong got the monkey cheek double cheeked up on a flocking Friday, no less. Look at that. That is beautiful. To think it took Kong being made of a flocked material to finally gain back some premium cheekage. And there's definition there too, dude. Like, it's not just a side thing. Like, he's got more cheek. I don't care what anybody says. But other than that, the flocked material is nice. It's nice to see all the different Funko details really coming back in full on this thing. And I really can't think of much else to honestly talk about aside from this guy's head can actually turn and it will stay in whatever position while this guy's head won't. Ugh. 
That still makes me feel off. Maybe it's the flocked material. Maybe it's just the fact that Funko decided to give this one head articulation. Maybe mine's just screwed up. I don't know, but there's clear head articulation here. Gonna stop doing that. I think I've pretty much made it clear that I'm really not a Funko collector. I'm really just buying these because who knows when Funko will be able to do this again and who knows if we'll even get anything major like this ever again. It's great to see Funko going all out for Godzilla vs. Kong because they very much stepped up their game with both Kong and Godzilla from their original counterparts. And this being my first ever flocked Funko, I'm impressed. The fact that so many of the details were able to be carried over in such is interesting. The only part that I really have issue with is just the scars. I really feel like they could have left that alone, but I'm gonna be keeping this thing in his box, so I don't know how much I'm actually really going to be noticing that at all. It just comes off a little arts and craftsy and kind of cheapish. But seeing him with this Funko Brethren and other assorted figures I'm sure that I'm going to be taking pictures of, this is a cool little release. I don't know why he lacks a little bit on the detail there, but the fact that so much of the detail comes through on that flocked material impresses me. When it comes to detail, Flocked Kong did take a bit of a hit, but the fact that so much of the fur detail came through in this Flocked material, as I'm saying for the 18 millionth time in this video, is extremely impressive. So, detail? Full star. Paint-wise, nothing much has really changed. In fact, there's a lot less paint this go-around. But the alternate paint and detail job for the axe over here is really, really nice. And I actually prefer this axe over the standardized axe. So I'll give paint a full star as well. And when it comes to the gimmick, the flockedness, he's soft. So that's, I mean, they did a good job on that. And he's exclusive. And I can't really rate him on exclusivity. But yeah, he's soft. And he feels nice and soft. Another full star. There you go, proof. I'm keeping this dude in the box. I wanna keep him nice and safe and away from the elements because I don't know how flocked material does with heat or with cold and all that up against its bare flocky skin, whatever. If you come across this guy, I say pick him up. I think he's exclusive to both BAM and Walgreens and Barnes and Noble. He's exclusive to quite a few places. I got mine from Books A Million, obviously. And hey man, if you can run into him for a decent enough price, why the heck not? He's cool. I'm sure Funko Collector's probably probably already have this, but if you're a Godzilla fan, a Godzilla vs. Kong fan, and you're looking to complete your Funko collection, he's a nice little addition, totally worth getting too. Anyway, I apologize that this video was a little bit on the short side. I've kind of been making videos all week this week, and behind the scenes I've been working on Patreon content, so I think I'm due, you know, a nice little short video, call it a weekend, you know? Sit down in front of a fan and not melt under photography lighting as you're recording videos for two and a half hours? Oh boy. Okay, maybe it's not two and a half hours, but anyway, I have been Shinra. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next week with all the planned content I have next week. <laughs> Peace out there, everybody.